What's going on YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. We're going to just jump straight into it. You guys are obviously here to learn how to mod KCD2. It's a very, very easy process. The first thing you're going to need to do is locate your KCD2 folder, right? So you're going to go to your, let me make sure I drag this in so you guys can see. I zoomed in so you guys can actually read the files and everything. If you go to this PC and you go to your storage that it's installed on, for me it's Windows, see? You're going to go down to Pro Program Files x86. You're going to scroll down to Steam. A lot of the modding is similar when it comes to this part. Uh, Steam apps right here. And then you're going to go up to common. And you're going to look for your Kingdom Come Deliverance 2 folder. For me, it's right here. Click in it. And then what you're going to do is you're going to right click. You're going to go new folder and name it mods just like I do here. Boom, enter. And um, I always refresh it just so it gets put where it's supposed to go here. All you're going to do now is drag this folder or minimize this folder. For me, I'm going to drag it to the side because we're going to come back to this in a second. Now, we're going to type in KCD2 mods and head over to one of the best websites ever, Nexus Mods. <laughs> and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go popular all time. And we're going to grab, I'm going to right click new tab for this one for unlimited saving too. And instant her picking too. I'm just going to get these ones for now. Obviously the game just came out. It's like a, roughly a weekend. And there's not going to be that many mods uh, out so far. But there's going to be more as the game, you know, as, as time goes. Um, but real quick, as we're downloading these mods, I'm going to just go through files. I'm going to download these manually real quick while I, while I talk. Um, if the game updates... Or if it's breaking after you installed it, after it was working, it's probably because the game updated. So you guys need to make sure you come into Nexus Mods and make sure you, where it says update available, make sure you update your mods. Not only that, but also the update might break the mod. You might have to just wait in general because there's, you know, or there might be a new way of modding in the future. This is literally, I'm recording it of February 8th, right? So the, the way of modding might have changed by the time you're, you know, watching this video. Um, but as of right now, this is what works. I can confirm it works for me. All right, so now you're going to go into your downloads folder. You're going to right click, go to extract all. And we're going to extract this into our Kingdom Come Deliverance 2 mods folder. Right? So basically, you're going to go back through here. And you're going to go this PC, Windows, Program x86, Steam, Steam Apps, Common, Kingdom Come Deliverance 2. And then you're going to go mods here. Click into your mods folder. And then hit select folder. And once you do this, you're going to extract. And we're going to do the same thing with this one. Extract all. You're going to, you're going to have to re-browse it again because it, it's putting it in my downloads. So you browse again. It should take you straight to your previous folder. Once again, put it in your mods folder. Select folder. Boom. Extract. And the reason why you do this this way instead of the way I'm about to show you because this makes sure that it actually extracts everything in there versus if I go into here and I extract... If I just click into it, you can drag and drop. And for some games that works... But there's been an issue with this mod specifically, the unlimited saving, not working if you just drag and drop. I can confirm if you extract it into the folder, it does work. And I'm going to show you guys that right now. All right, so now that we're here, you see how it says ma uh, underscore M-A-C-O-S-X? So what I did is I go in and I just drag this into the mods folder. Because if you click into the mods folder, it shows data, DS store, mod manifest. So I go in and just drag it in the mods folder. So now if you go in, there's nothing there. So I can just delete this folder and boom. Let's go ahead and jump into Kingdom Come Deliverance and show you guys that it works. Alrighty, so as I go into the game, I'm going to hit continue. We got the instant herb picking, and we have the saving, right? You save with F5 on the keyboard, so let's go ahead and load in and try it out. Alright, as we're going in, first things first, can I press F5 and save the game? Game saved. That mod works. Now, let's go ahead and hop on our trusty pebbles. I'm going to quickly find a plant to pick that way to show that there's no animation. And that's going to be it. So let me just quickly find one and I'll be right back. Keep it up. Stand still. After stumbling quite a ways away, we finally found one herb. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go ahead and gather it and show that there's no animation. As you've seen, I clicked it and it said there was no animation. It just picked it straight up. Let's see if I can find another one right here. Sage, boom. There is a little bit of a skip. If you guys see that, that's not an edit. Um, that's the game itself. It's skipping the animation. Uh, it's what's going on. I'm going to do it again. Nettle. Yeah, it's giving you like a little bit of a skip. Uh, almost as if I'm cutting the video. I can see it when I'm actually pressing the button. 
but I promise, guys, it's 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 not me. It's it's literally the game. You guys can install it and try it yourself. Regardless, the mod works though. Like this is great. I can now farm whatever I want with no animation. That's awesome. I'm over encumbered. Awesome. That's fantastic. Regardless, guys, that's it for the modding, man. It's very simple as of right now. Obviously, there's not that many mods out. They're very simple installs. Uh, they could get very crazy later on. So if that changes, I will update. I will do an update video on it. Regardless, so that is it, guys. If you guys enjoyed or if I helped you out in any way, please hit that like button down below. Make sure you guys comment. Um, you know, just let me let people know that it works. Or if you have any tips or any mods to check out, let me know as well. Uh, but with that being said, I will see you guys in the next video. Have a good one. Stay safe. And good luck, guys, in your Kingdom Come Deliverance 2 runs. This game is amazing. I'm literally seven hours in, and I got so much to so much to explore. So hopefully you guys enjoy the game. I will see you guys in the next video. Take it easy. Peace.